Mm. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Saito Ninja. And in a couple of months, I'm going to be working on a how-to series on, simply put, how to make a Spider-Man costume the way Peter Parker does. Now, this video, I'm just going to go over what my production schedule is for the release until I actually put out this series in a couple of months. Months. Now, for those of you guys who saw my last video, I actually end up buying him my buying the fabric I need for this series. Let's just to and my mind is if I got the fabric, I better well make the suit. Oh kinda like what I have right here. For those of you guys who seen my how to make a Goku costume video, you might notice there'd be a lot of similarities with the series with the spike costume as it come out. Why? Simply put, I've been planning on making a hell to make a Spider-Man costume series for a very, very long time. Long before I even started making videos, I wanted to make a tutorial series on a Spider-Man costume. Yeah. And a lot of my ideas for how to make a Spider-Man costume went into how to make a Goku costume. Yeah. And no joke. So, so you will be seeing a very similar format to how to make a Goku costume. But unlike that series, how to make a Spider-Man costume is going to take me a few months. That's to produce. Listen, what my schedule, or what I have planned for it is relatively simple. So this month, this month of June, I am planning on just working on the pattern. And why? Well, doing during the making of this suit, I kind of screwed up. I made the arm, made the uh, seams between the arm and the shoulders a little too tight and I need to fix that. Now don't plus don't no and to add it I'm basically still gonna be using the same pattern as this. So whenever you guys see me working with the pattern and in the upcoming how to series it's just gonna be pretty much a tracing me a tracing in the already made pattern. And speaking about pattern, I'm going to have to find some way to speed through the basic pattern. Yeah. Speed through it. I mean, it's probably going to be text something. Because honestly, I don't want to waste your time on just figuring out how to make a really technical skin suit. I want to get on to how to modify that skin suit to make this. This now. Uh, July is when I'm actually going to be shooting and recording I mean, how to make a Spider-Man costume series. I will be remaking the suit with navy blue, not black fabric as right here. Don't know why you guys can see the difference, especially on YouTube. To, to and hopefully I can get the suit mostly finished by the end of July. July and then August and when I plan on editing it and making all the graphics. Because this is going to be a very graphic intensive series and I'm not planning on uploading a single video until at least the majority of the series is done. Done and when I plan to upload, somewhere between either in September or early October is when I plan to upload it. I don't know how many parts it's going to be. It could be like how to make a Goku costume, which is a whopping 20 part series. Yeah, that one is going to be a lot. <laughs> but just like how to make a Goku costume, I'm going to be going over pretty much everything in it, all unique video, and some of them might be 15 minutes long or longer, some of them might be 5 minutes. But the structure is going to be the same throughout most of them. 
even though most of them could be in seven when um eighty no and yeah seven eighty p instead of full eight d do you need to quickly talk a bit about that I know I'm rambling, but as you guys know, I like to be weird. Now, uh, now the resolution format for how to make a Spider-Man costume is going to be mostly in 780p, not 480p. The 480p videos are going to be the most, the ones that I feel like need uh, need the full version of because they're going to have the most detail and graphics in them. The, but the majority of them may be in 780p because they won't be as graphic intensive, but there will still be quite a fair bit of graphics. Thanks, the format is going to be simple throughout all the series. I mean, I mean, the first bit is me going to be discussing say, on some of the variation history on each subject in the series, then actually show you guys how to make the suit. So, but. This is how going to structure going to be throughout most of it, with the exception of the first two. Two, I'm going to actually going to compress, press three of the videos I did and how to make a Goku costume into one video, which is the design, history, and origin of the suit. So that would be the official introduction video. This is an introduction video. This is more of like a play lewd video. You know, then of course you would get a very detailed little discussion on what you need for the costume. Which as you guys may know, it is basically spandex. Next then after that get to measurements, work on the pants, shirt, and each point individually. I might even actually make a pair of rips shooters. His end probably come up with some interesting effects tutorials. You know that I can do and show you guys. But other than that, pretty much it. So it's something that you guys really should be looking forward to. Talk a bit about it, spread the word, that there is actually gonna be a how to a, a how to make a Spider-Man costume so with the way that Peter Parker made his suit. And I honestly, yeah, I'm going to try to make my suit as close to exactly how Peter would have. Because that's the way I made this one. But, well, I think that's pretty much it. Hmm. Hey, the web, yeah!